Carson says she's to be stopped and held till he comes. Is she alone? Woman with her, maid, I guess. Something yellow horse to eat. They're driving the car. Ned, you stay here and watch things. Right. All right, fella, show us the way. Sets on the prairie and the stars begin to shine. I remember to some Mary, that western girl of mine. Her voice was low and wistful, and her lips were coral red. I remember to son Mary till the day that I am dead. To son Mary, I'm coming home again. I will not roam again away from you to San Mary. You'll lift your eyes and then I'll read my answer in the depths of blue. Hold on. What's wrong? That song of yours. Can't you sing about nothing but women? Why, what's the matter with the women? They're troublemakers. Anytime there's a woman around, some man is bound to get in the neck. All right, how is this one? Oh, give me a home Where the buffalo roam Where the deer and the antelope play Where seldom is heard A discouraging word And the skies are not cloudy all day Oh, home on the rain, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. 
They're not Indians, but they may be more dangerous. Let me do the talking. Where are you heading for, miss? That's my business. Suppose you tell me who you are and what right you have to ask. Never mind who we are. We got instructions to ride herd on you for a ways. So just start this tin bronca going. Oh, Miss Rita, I told you we shouldn't have come. Quiet. Isn't there any law in this country? Mighty scared. Just get this bus going and don't try anything funny. It's a rough road. This road all leads us to tell me. I hope we make it before dark. Here we go. Hold on tight. Stop! Shoot for the tires! Smart girl, huh? Next time it won't be a tire we plug. Riding's too good for you. Get out and walk. By gum, now I know we're headed for trouble. Be careful where you shoot. Tom, we can get them. Come on. Let them go. We've got to see what happened to the folks in that car. We're going to do nothing of the kind. And remember, no one must know what we're here for. I don't even know myself. What's going on? The holdup? Those men were forcing us to go with them. I tried to get away, but they shot. Sure, I saw that. But what for? What they want? Who are you? Where are you heading for? 
Well, well, those those men tried to kill us. The bullet went right by my ear. Oh, Miss Reed, I know I'm going to faint. Oh. I knew it. Bag gum, I knew it. Uh, change that flat tire, Happy. Which one? On the car. Sorry, my partner isn't used to the society of women. I can see that. But we are grateful to you for driving off those men. That's our business. We're officers of the law. What do you want to run out for? Them two was Tom Wade and his partner, Happy Ballers, of the protective. Are you sure? Yeah. And there's no telling how many more of them there may be. Dave, you trail that Carol girl and make sure that no one sees you. Report later to the chief at the hideout. Come on, Merkel. If you tell me who you are and where you're going, I might be able to help you. I've told you all I can. We're just touring. Don't you believe her, Tom? What do you mean? Women just can't tell the truth. It's an affliction wished on them by the Creator. And I suppose men are all truthful? Nope. Some of them are awful liars, but you take any woman. You can only believe half of what she says and one-fourth of what she writes. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us how to reach a town called Talmadge? Keep going as you're headed. Abby and I will keep you in sight in case you have more trouble. Thank you. Baggage over? Yeah. Her name is Carol, same as the fellow we're looking for. Hmm, is that so? Yeah. We'd better make sure where they go. Well, where's Miss Carol? What have you done with her? We were bringing her here when Tom Wade and Happy Boilers of the Protective jumped us. And you told us to stay clear of the law. Yeah. On the open road, anyway. What happened? Well, we hightailed it. I left Jabe to trailer. He let us know. Come on. Carol's been acting kind of queer lately. Let's take a look. Send word to your daughter before we took you. Hey, eh, Carol? I told you I did. You didn't think I was fool enough to come into a deal like this without taking precautions? No. You were pretty shrewd. But you shouldn't have told me about it. When I bring her here, perhaps you'll listen to reason. You mean she's here? She's probably in Talmadge by now. Good. She won't leave there until she hears from me. She has instructions to do nothing until she receives a message from me. <laughs> and I propose to send her that message tonight. Why, you wouldn't dare. If any harm comes to her... Thanks, Terry. But you shouldn't have... Ah, oh, he's only KO'd. All right. Come on.
Still looking for Indian? You know what I'm looking for. And don't try and tell me there haven't been any here for 20 years. Come in. Miss Carroll? Oh, oh yes. I have a message from your father. Yes, I was expecting word from him. Is he all right? Yes. Well, that is, he's got to keep undercover for a while. Undercover? What do you mean? The deal he got into is just a little outside the law. I don't believe it. Dad never did a dishonest thing in his life. I'm sorry. I only know what he told me to tell you. I'm taking a certain amount of risk in coming here. I don't understand. I'll go to Dad. I'm sure he can explain. If you go to him now, you lead the law to his hiding place. They followed you here, you know. You got those two wrong, mister. They saved us from a lot of murdering bandits. That holdup was framed to gain your confidence. You noticed that no one was hurt. I'm... I must see my father. What am I to do? Well, if I may sit down, I'll tell you. Oh, sorry. Please do. Hello. I'm Tom Wade of the Protector. Yeah. Sit down, Wade. I've heard a lot about you. What can I do for you? I'm uh, looking for a man named Carol. Carol, huh? Say, there was a fellow around town several weeks for that name. Uh, he said he was here to sell a ranch. What has he done? Nothing, far as I know. He stopped at our Santone office on his way here. Said he was suspicious of the deal he was getting into. Asked us to look him up if we didn't hear from him. Reckon that's the same man, all right. Know any more about him? No, except that on the way here, I met a girl by that name who was in a jam and wouldn't talk. You understand? Now, get out of town without being followed. A man from your father will meet you and take you to him. How will I know he comes from my father? He'll identify himself by wearing your father's seal ring. Very well. And remember, look out for Tom Wade and his partner. What did he mean? What has your father done? Nothing wrong, I'm sure. Well, then I think you'd better not listen to that man. But if Dad is in trouble, I, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to find him. Women. Sneaky quitters. Anyone following us, Minnie? No, ma'am, not a soul in sight. Good. Then a little speed will fix it so they can't. Can't depend on them.
Sorry, road closed. Men at work. What does this mean? I wanted to talk to you. Did you have to bar the road in order to talk? Sure, you might not stop, and I didn't want to spoil any more of your tires. Oh, wait, Miss Rita. So, it was your men that staged that fake holdup yesterday. Fake holdup? Who told you that? It doesn't matter who told me. Say what you have to say and go. Right. I'll make it short. If you're going to see John Carroll, I'm going with you. And I told you yesterday that we were just touring. And, and my partner said I was only to believe half of that. Sit down, Miss Carroll. Let's talk this thing over. Years ago, your father had a ranch out here somewhere and was a member of the Cattlemen's Protective Association. I know that. And he came out here to sell that ranch. Is there anything illegal about that? I don't know yet. He's disappeared. Either there's something phony about the deal, or he's met with an accident. An accident? Do you mean that, that he's been killed, or...? I hope not. Suppose you tell me why you came out here. All set. Then she hasn't seen you. Here's your credentials. Just show it to her, huh? Yes. Be sure there isn't anyone trailing her. You ought to meet her within a mile or two of here. All right. Dad wrote me that he thought he stumbled on an important secret. He didn't want to write about it in the letter, so... So he asked me to come to tell me. What kind of a secret? Oh, it's a government secret. Something about... Minnie! Our... Please be quiet. I'm still waiting, Miss Carroll. I'm sorry, Mr. Wade. I've nothing more to tell you. If you insist on trying to follow me, I'll return to tell me. Just a minute. That stick up on the road wasn't a fake. Those men intended to make you a prisoner. Ridiculous. Why should they? Let's suppose your dad is on the level. He is. All right, he is. But suppose he has something on these birds. Well, they wouldn't fool with me. They'd kill him. Not if they thought he had written you what he knew. They'd wait until they had both of you. He's right, Miss Rita. Tom Wade has stopped her on the road. Do you think she told him anything? I was too far off to tell. Looks like Wade was doing all the talking. All right. You men have got to get Wade. Ned, you get to her with that ring. Yeah? What if she won't come with me? See that she does. Just my hunch, Miss Carroll. I have no right to hold you here. Just say the word and I'll drag that tree out of the way. I think you're trying to trick me again. Miss Rita, you'll get us all killed. Your father and you and me. Come on, Minnie. We've wasted enough time here. Miss Carol! 
Now, clear out. Daddy, that tight, miss. I'm taking you to your dad. No, let me out of here. That tight. All right, boys, get your horse and let's get out of here. All right, get that canteen off of my saddle. Quick! Who are you and what do those men want? Just keep your shirt on, Miss Carroll. We're taking you to your father like I told you. Here, it's his, ain't it? But why must I be dragged to him like this? Why did do all He'll those... tell you all that when we get there. Now then, Miss Carroll. You're coming with us without making any more trouble. I... I'll go to my father. Smart girl. What became of that officer? He won't be bothering anybody anymore. You mean you you killed him? Ah, skip the details. You're going to ride that extra horse. Where we're going, a car won't travel. Ned, put this bus where no one will find it. Sure, I'll fix it. Here, miss. You might want to make yourself pretty. Thanks, I may need it. Oh, is he killed? No, he's all right. I get here. Take it easy, Tom. Miss Carroll! What happened to her? They took her away in her own car. We can't catch them now. We can follow the tracks of the car. What's your name? Uh, 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 Minnie, sir. All right, Minnie. You can walk to town. Stay in your room at the hotel until you hear from me. Uh, but, but if they come back? If they'd wanted you, they would have taken you before. Come on, Happy. I knew it. As soon as I seen them women, I knew we were headed for trouble.
There's a track. The car left the road here. Yeah, they ain't going far. There's no road here. getaway. What do we do now? Go back to the hotel and learn the truth from Minnie. Nobody ever learned the truth from a woman. Sorry you couldn't have come peacefully, Miss Carroll, as we planned. Where is my father? I'll take you to him in just a moment. Well? We got Wade. Good job. Get the horses out of sight and keep a strict watch. Right this way, Miss Carroll. shouldn't have come here, my dear. I didn't have any choice. They told me that you had... that you were in trouble. He is in trouble, miss. Very serious trouble. Explain the situation to your daughter, Carol. I'll be back later. What is it, Dad? He said that you had broken the law, that the police were after you. I haven't broken any laws, my dear. But maybe I'll have to in order to get both of us out of here alive. Get us out alive? What do you mean? This man, Garson, aroused my suspicion when he came to Talmadge and we were arranging for him to buy the ranch. Yes, you wrote me that. I knew that the ranch wasn't worth the price he offered for it. So I decided to investigate before I made any deal. I thought maybe they'd discovered gold on the place. Well? But look here. You said there wasn't to be any killing unless it couldn't be helped. Right. But after shooting one of them, the disposal of the other one became necessary. It's still necessary. All right, Chief. We'll take care of it. But I don't think there's a chance of him finding this place. I'll put Ned at the lookout point when he gets back. Don't lose any time. Get going. I found out that they were using this shack to store stolen goods before running them across the border. They gave me my choice between helping them with their smuggling and disappearing. But they haven't carried out their threat. No. They knew that I'd written to you and that you were coming here. That's what Tom Wade said. Wade? Yes, the man from the detective. He tried to help me and they shot him. The man said we were to meet someone on the road that would take us to Mr. Carroll. Who was the man? I don't know. Where is this ranch of Carol? I don't know. Don't you know anything? No, sir. 
I guess that's as close as we'll get to the truth. All right, Minnie, you can go back to the hotel. Are you sure you're going to find Miss Rita? Sure we will. How are we going to find her? Put some men in the hills as soon as you can get them together. Happy? You and I will ride where we found the car. Step right and ride for a sign. Fine. That's Happy Baldus. He's alone. Poor sap. Ooh. You knocked him over, Terry. Close in on him. Oh, that's Tom Wade. And he's alive. He's got more lives than a cat. Alive, huh? Merkel's dead as a mackerel. Get her horses and get out of here.
Hey, you dumb cock. Watch where you're shooting. Gee, Tom, I... I, I there didn't you know are. That's you... all right, Happy. Pretty good shooting. Got one, huh? Let's look him over. Will he talk, Tom? Yes, he's done his last talking. We'd better get him into town. You see what I mean, Dad? It's worth a trial, but I don't think it'll work. Even if you get it by Garson. Who's going to decipher it? I'll bet Tom Wade would. If he were alive. Anyway, I've got it letter perfect, so that I can write it with him watching me. you persuaded your father to be reasonable? We've decided to accept your terms on one condition. If any conditions are made, I'll make them. You'll be taken across the border and held there until such time as our operations are completed. The condition is that I be allowed to write to my maid in Talmage, telling her that father and I are well and in no danger. And giving her a tip as to where we can be found. You will, of course, read what I write. And you or one of your men will deliver it. What do I gain by such an arrangement? Everything. Officers are searching for us now. Unless they receive some word from us, the search will become general. What happened? You tell him. Well, we got up down the rocks and we got in a gun battle. We thought... You can't move contraband while these officers are patrolling the roads and trails. And if they're called off by news that we are safe... Tom Wade has been taken care of. And I'm expecting word any minute that his partner has been disposed of. Garson! Tom Wade is alive and it killed Merkel. You fools. Yes, but we had ball this trap. Never just... mind the alibis. Get outside and stand guard. Send Ned in here. I'll have some paper sent in to you. You may write your letter. My men have combed the hills and found nothing, and I haven't been able to find anyone to identify the dead man.
everything's all right. I got a letter from Miss Rita, and she and her father are safe. Where'd you get this? In the room, or over at the hotel. Who brought it? Why, why, I, I don't know. It was just there when I came in from dinner. Sounds mighty fishy to me. Let her just delivering itself. What's that about a stupid officer? Don't look at me. I didn't write it. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Looks like this man Carroll is tied in with them crooks, whatever they're up to. Maybe. But I'd have staked my reputation that the girl was on the level. All right, Minnie. Guess you can pack up and catch the morning train. Yes, sir. I'm glad everything's all right. Oh. Oh, but Miss Rita made a mistake. She had the bead bag with her with all the money. <laughs> oh, I can't go now. Did you say she had the bead bag with her? What was it like? What color? Oh, white beads all Just over. Just like this? Yes, like that. Where'd you get... Wait a minute, let me see this letter again. Happy? What was it you told her about woman's letters? Just said you couldn't believe it. No, them. no, I mean the exact words you used. I said you could believe half a woman says and only a fourth of what she writes. That's it. Believe one fourth. Look here. Search for beads. Follow what? Don't you see? She's ripped the bag. Left the trail of those beads through this hole they've taken her to. Well, I'll be darned. Let's go! No, wait. We can't do it in the dark. I know where to pick up the trail. Happy and I will be there dawn. about due east. Aiming for that cut the hills, likely. Easy does it. Don't miss a turn. made a beeline to the sheriff's office. So she got your note. What about Tom Wade? Him and Ballas left town. When? Before daylight. So I'm saying goodbye to the sheriff. How close we are to the place. Hey, I ain't saw a bead in the last hour. She wouldn't be fool enough to waste them where there's only one way to go. Take care of your horse. Then get out on guard with Jade. And keep your eyes open. Back to the road. The sheriff will be somewhere near where we picked up the trail by now. 
Well, what are you going to do? Never mind. Go quietly and get back in a hurry. Right. This maid of hers will leave town today, I suppose. Yeah. The girl took care of that in her letter. Told her she'd find the money in her bead bag. Bead bag? Why, she had it with her. What? Ned threw it to her after she left the car. Are you sure? Yeah. Not a talk out of you. Dad, we're going to get help. My dear, I'm afraid your cold is too difficult. And if they miss it... That man Wade won't miss it. You instructed your maid to get some money out of your bead bag? Yes, for her fare. My man said that you had that bag with you in the car. Oh, did I? Yeah. You had it with you when you started up here. Well, uh, that's funny. I must have dropped it somewhere while we rode. Terry, search him. Never mind. Give him the bag, Dad. So that was your plan, to leave a trail of beads. And did you expect those blundering protective men to find it? Of course they'll find it. I told them where I was in the letter. I read your letter. You read too much of it. You should only have read every fourth word. This is the hiding place of contraband before they run it over the border. Have the hands of these two birds, Carol. Use their belt. Take them up, boys. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I can't go any farther.
Smuggling outfit, Sheriff. You'll find three more of them inside. Guess this will change your ideas about women, hey, Happy? Nope. Oh, this affair just proves my case. You can't believe him. Look what she done to that poor sap Garson. <laughs> <laughs> 